our country is divided. It's an often heard term with daily reminders. Closer to home, the battle has taken to the sleepy suburbs. Three News investigator Marissa Sines visited Ground Zero, where political differences have drawn police attention and littering charges against an unlikely suspect. Welcome to Hinkley Township. It's pristine landscape providing a momentary pause, unblemished by the turmoil percolating outside. Because, you answer that because question, the question you is, the question Supreme is, Justice, the radical question, left. Will you shut who is up, your, man? Listen, who is Somehow, Hinkley, Ohio, population 8,028, has come to symbolize our divided nation. Ground Zero, Bellis Road. The ignorance, I guess, would be the right word. I was, yeah, I was uh, angry because uh, spending all these hours uh, should, you know, I was hoping to inform the public more. On the left is Gerald Dulcini, retired school teacher, card-carrying Sierra Club member, ardent Democrat, and now, at age 85, a twice-convicted litter bug. I was brought in uh, because a resident out of hundreds complained she was from the opposite viewpoint. So we have a divided community like we have a divided state and a divided country. On the right is Cindy Radesic, a grandmother, retail worker, and the target of Dulcini's ire, and to police, his litter. I would assume that this person who was throwing it thought that it would make me not keep signs up. But what I did was I'd come in the house and I'd say to the kids, that's it, I got another package, I'm on the internet, we're getting another sign. The political discord on Bellis Road goes back to 2020, when Americans took sides, planting their partisan flags. Dulcini has spent his retirement on Democratic causes, keeping his home green, taking out his frustrations on the tennis court, backhanding his opponents while serving up pro-left literature. I was probably doing homes in Hinkley and Granger daily. To help the environment, Dulcini reuses plastic bags from Subway or grocers, stuffing them with news articles and notes, especially anyone with pro-Trump signs. He literally was throwing that on my lawn for a reason. About a dozen times, Dulcini's crudely made bags and notes tossed in her yard. And I was offended by what he was doing, and I don't know who else he did it to, but I was not going to change. I was going to stick to my guns. Other Bellis Road residents complained to police, and despite warning, Dulcini didn't back down. During last year's midterm election, his bags were cited twice as littering. After a trial, a judge found him guilty, sentencing Dulcini to community service and a $150 fine. Yes, I feel like my constitutional rights have been violated. While his appeal was pending, Dulcini was back at it, prompting a third littering citation involving a Bellis Road neighbor. I agree with all the candidates in these packets. The Radesics say they have rights too. And to them, Dulcini's bags were trash. I have freedom of speech. If you don't like it, don't look at it. Keep driving by because I get more beeps than I do fingers. Dulcini's political passions have cost him at least $4,000 just on attorney fees with more to come. His appeal has yet to be heard and his third case is pending in Medina Municipal Court. Marissa Signs, 3 News.